Hey, it's Tom with Tab Nation. Today, we're not going to actually be looking at any type of code, but how to keep organized when working on like a project or something, uh, whether, you know, it's personal life, but more likely your job. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of different sites out there like this, but we're going to be using uh, ClickUp. I'll put a link in the description below for that. This has been my favorite one, and after reading a bunch of articles, it also seems to be one of the more popular ones. Uh, there is a free version, which for me has always worked perfectly fine. I've never had to upgrade uh, to the paid versions, but if you're using this work and you have a reason, hopefully your job's going to spot you the money to upgrade. Um, but this is basically just like a project management system. It, it's really good at keeping everything organized uh, with a team you it's not just you who's seeing this it's you know everybody who's on your project or your team so we're just going to do a quick run through of like how to set this up and why it's uh, very helpful so the first thing we're going to want to do and you can't see it because it's behind my head is click task so you're starting a new project new project uh, it's going to start in phase one. We're going to call it YouTube test project. Sorry, it's hard to type with my microphone in my way. Um, so you're going to want to also put the name. That's just the description right here. But we'll just call it test, test, test. That's the name of our project for some odd reason. And then, uh, you know, who's this for? You know, obviously I'm the only one on this account, so it's for me. But you can add multiple people if, you know, you need Joe and Bob are also supposed to be helping you out on this project. And then they'll get an email letting them know they've been assigned to a project called this. Here's the details. <clears throat> um, so... This is kind of a way to keep like track of a few things, budget, how much money you've spent, that kind of stuff. You don't have to use these if there is no budget or anything. Uh, if it's just something you're coding, you're fine to go. Uh, any attachments you need, like a PDF or you know pictures of the project. And this doesn't have to be used just for coding. You can use this for any type of like project at your job, and it's really going to help you a lot. There's a few other things down here where you can set priority, set dates, uh, tags, make it searchable. Now this is a this is a urgent priority because we're recording right now, so this needs to be done by the end of this video. And uh, we need to do a few things. Subtask. We need to talk about making a task. And then another one is. Uh, complete some code of some sort whatever and we're going to go ahead and just say create task we got the basics in there so we're going to go to spaces i'm going to go ahead and make this a little bigger again and uh we're going to project management you can add as many different uh create lists as you want so you can have a list where it's you know like by team this team a team b or team one, two, three, or you can have lists based off of like type of projects, a project that involves like coding projects or projects that info uh, resource changes or, you know, whatever. So here's a list. So it usually starts you out on list right here with this kind of view. I personally like board because I just think it's easier to, you know, see and understand. Um, so these are all the different projects that are going on, and it shows what stage they're in. So here's our to-do list. And there, there it is. There's our uh, new one right there. But this is urgent priority. It, it should be at the top so we have a better visual on it. So we're going to put it at the very top um, so you can organize it like that. Uh, the next step is in progress, so we're, we're talking about it, so it's in progress. All you got to do is drag and drop over here. It's awesome. So we already created task, so we're done. So we need to go back into this. 
So we already talked about this. This is complete. We're going to go ahead and check it as done, as ready. You can also do in progress or complete, or I guess we're going to push complete. And so that, that's gone. We're good to go. Uh, complete some code. Um, there's a lot of different things here. I'm not really going to go through them all because you could make a very long video. You can email that task to someone. Uh, it's kind of like a reminder, like, hey, what's going on with this? And uh, where did that one go? Oh, okay, there we go. And you can push uh, hide complete or show complete so you can see them again. And um, I can just say, like, I did it. So, or, and then I, you know, obviously I'm doing the next task. So I'm going to go ahead and assign that to myself. So it's really cool. I mean, you can really assign different tasks to different people. So, you know, if it's, I complete this and then you can complete this, the person who's waiting for you to complete your task, they can come here and see, like, what you're doing, where you're at, and know, like, when it's about time for them to, you know, start doing it. Uh, so yeah, after that, you just kind of move it along, add any notes you need to. Obviously, I just try to put it in the complete and it's telling me something's not done. Resolve all items. That's because one of the boxes was left um, unchecked as not complete. Complete some code. So let's go ahead and say that's complete. And now we can see those. You should be able to add dates. Uh, I forget where that's at exactly. It's in here somewhere, but you can add due dates and everything. And then over here, there's like a list of what's been going on, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. And you can always add more notes. Um, talk with Joe and he wants to wait a week before working on this task. And then make sure you put a task on or a date on there so you know when exactly that task uh was put in and when uh he wants to go back like you can be like back to work on this 7 15 2021 so just be very detailed in your notes any type of little information you think you might need i don't know why i bolted that so yeah uh i know this was kind of a short demo of this there's obviously I mean, there's hundreds of features on this thing uh, where you can, you know, just manage like calendars, who's on a team, what they're doing. You can set times for stuff saying like, hey, I only want you working on this for an hour. So you can see like their product productivity. Uh, you got, you know, goals up here. Um, I don't have that set up. But there is a lot you can do under here. Um and then pretty much any website you go to, if you don't want to use ClickUp, there's a bunch of other ones out there, and they all work about the same. It's just this one had a little bit more features that I was interested in. Uh, mostly the one feature that really sold me on this is you can have so many people working at, or signed up with an account on here before you have to start paying, but they have what's called 10 ghost accounts. And those are accounts where you can have up to 10 people sign into this, but they can't change anything. They can only view. So it's good for someone who maybe doesn't really work on the projects, but it's kind of overseeing stuff, maybe your project manager. Uh, that way they don't have to waste one of your actual productivity accounts on here. So you can have up to 10 people who can are just basically viewers. And that really sold me on this because that, that really helps you have more people before you have to start paying for it. Um, still be able to see it with the project if that makes sense. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye.